Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is another not fun video to do, as this is going to be on the league COVID-19 protocol affecting more teams, as now it affects the Colorado Avalanche. He probably should have chose not to play, given the decision, like Pirlo Wisdom saying on his channel right now. As his show's live, go check him out after this video if you want to, and also subscribe down below if you enjoy the content. Really appreciate you. But now it's affecting the Panthers and the Avalanche. The league announced, after I did my Bruins video, I said there has to be more of a quota on exactly, put a number, 7, 8, 9, whatever the hell you want to do, on the amount of players, and then that's when you postpone the games, 1, 2, 3, whatever it is, game. But anywho, the league announced, the National Hockey League announced today that it has extended the period of game postponements for the Calgary Flames through their game previously scheduled for the 23rd against Seattle. Additionally, due to concern with the number of positive cases within the last two days, as well as, as, well as continued concern for the COVID-19 spread in the coming days, Colorado Avalanche and Panthers games also will be postponed through the scheduled completion of the league's holiday break in the schedule on the 26th. This decision was made by the NHL and the NHLPAs and the club medical groups. So the Flames postponed games to date include the 13th at Chi-Town, uh, the 17th in Nashville, Smashville, the 16th versus Toronto, 18th versus Columbus, 21st versus the Anaheim Ducks, uh, and the 23rd versus the Kraken. Uh, the Avalanche's postponed games include the Tampa Bay Lightning, Detroit, uh, Buffalo, and Boston, and the Panthers' postponed games include Mini, Chi Town and Nashville Smashville Predators. So this has been a quick update. Again, a sad, awful video to do. Hopefully the league can figure this out and come to something here. Uh, they talked about it a little bit on the Steve Dangle podcast that I was listening to of why the league probably won't come to a halt this year because they kind of built in the extra day and will choose not to go to the Olympics to put these uh, postponed uh, games there, basically, if they have to in those weeks when they don't go to the Olympics and even maybe cancel the All-Star game and not have an All-Star break and put games there if they have to. So they kind of built games in to have to just kind of keep pushing through like the NFL has kind of had the mentality where they haven't even canceled games where at least the NBA and NHL come to their players and cancel games for them at times. They're just not doing it at a good structured level of actually having a checked number that you go, okay, seven people, okay, eight people are in protocol. Now we're going to stop the game. I feel like you should have a check number, but it was a good decision on the NHL. Uh, they really had guys that would not normally crack the lineup in for Colorado, and same goes for Florida with the amount of people they had on COVID protocols that you had a defense that's a mighty good one uh, really dismantled because the people they had on, co on COVID protocols, and the same goes with Colorado. So it was nice to see the NHL finally step in for those clubs. But anyway, have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has just been a quick COVID-19 update for the Colorado Avalanche and the Florida Panthers, as well as the Calgary Flames. Stay safe, everybody out there from the virus, and enjoy the hockey that you're able to watch.